what's going on fellow hunters welcome back to the channel we just got a package in the mail from tethered all right i went ahead and i ordered this um, i know exactly what's in it but i figured you guys would be excited to see it um we got a bunch of wind going on today so hopefully that doesn't mess up the audio quality at all if it does i'm sorry um, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this package up i'm gonna show you what's inside of it we're gonna take a look at it i'm gonna go ahead and put it on my saddle and uh, get it ready for this weekend because in a couple days I'm going back down to Kentucky. I'm going to do at least one more hunt before Indiana season opens up. Let's go ahead and get this open. I'm going to go ahead and use my tethered pocket knife. Like I said, it's kind of windy out here. Um, it's also actually kind of chilly, so I went ahead and threw on my Tethered Nation hoodie just to go ahead and keep warm. So we're, we're getting crazy weather already. All right, it's starting to cool off. It already, it's definitely already starting to feel, feel like fall. Deer season's approaching real quick. Anna packaged my order. Thank you, Anna. So what we ended up picking up, right, and I ordered this the exact day that it come out, knowing that, that it was going to sell out in a matter of a matter of days. Uh, so I ordered this about a week ago, the very first day that it dropped, I got the tethered roll pouch. All right, so just to let you know, I don't one stick at all. Um, main reason why is I spent $400 on sticks for this year, so there wasn't any way that I was going to be able to convince my wife that I needed the one stick. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to... Um, to get this on my saddle, um, I think I'm going to end up probably one sticking by next year. So I think just for this year, it's where I'm going to go ahead and just store my tether and my lineman's belt just to kind of keep them from getting any kind of like tangled up at all or anything like that. Let's go ahead and open this up, kind of see what the quality of it feels like. I've been wanting one of these ever since I saw um, Carl with one at the... Um, at the teaching train we had in Noblesville. All right, Carl had one of these on. It was still a prototype at the time. So first impressions, uh, this fabric is really soft and quiet, right? It feels just like the same kind of um, upper fabric that would be on your sis hauler. Give you a closer look at this. All right, so it's got your two organizational pockets. It has the strap here, right? It's where you put like your rope, if you were one sticking, all right? And then, uh, the guys always tuck the, the business end of their climbing system up in this top pocket. Um, so in that in that left sis hauler, I'm always carrying um, both my ropes and then I carry um, a pocket knife or my skinning knife, right? My gutting knife just in case, right? Just in case something happens and I need to get down real quick and I need quick access to a knife, right? So I can, I can go ahead and uh, take care of the animal quickly instead of letting it suffer. Um, I also keep um, just a couple little like hair ties right just the, the regular hair ties I go ahead and I keep those in there just in case I need to bind something up or something uh, a couple of the hair ties or something on my sticks break so I keep a couple of those um, the extra carabiner so I can put it through the eye and go ahead and go from lineman loop to lineman loop so I can use a second lineman's belt in case I got to go around limbs and things like that so I think that this will help keep kind of some of that organized um, I think when I go to do when I go to one stick though for next year I'm gonna have to I keep all my ropes on my left side, on my left hip. I think for next year I'm going to have to swap those. All right, I'm going to, have to put all that kind of stuff on my right side, so that way the tail end of my 40-foot rope will, uh, will be over here, and I can function it with my right hand. But for now, this will work perfectly fine on the left hip with all my ropes in it. It's got the little three-bar attachment on the back, right? To go ahead and slide through your molly loops on your saddle. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring you a little closer. We're going to get the saddle out. We're going to go ahead and put it on, get it organized, get everything ready for um, Saturday's hunt down in Kentucky. And I'll let you know what I think. All right, so here's my saddle. Um, as you can tell, I've only got the one sis hauler on it. This is where I keep like my back band, my hiss strap. Um, so on this side is where I had my other one where I was keeping my ropes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this on there on this side and then I'm gonna go ahead and get all my ropes and accessories and stuff stuck up in there so I can roll it up so um, like I said it's got the three bar attachment I'm going to attempt to get this as far forward as possible right so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put one here 
it looks like one's gonna go here and one's gonna go here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and force these through. Sometimes I can't pull the end out, so I'll, I'll get my pliers out. I like to grab the little three bar and pull it down through the molly sometimes if I need to. So we'll go from top side down just to keep it level with the belt. So we're gonna flip it over. Go ahead and get these bars started. All right, so a lot of times I'll get down to there and I can't really get my fingers in there. So I just grab this three bar with the pliers. Go ahead and pull it on through. Dang it, back up here. All right, and then once you got that in there, you can kind of, it'll all flip back down. So we're gonna go ahead and put the second bar in. Shove it down. Grab it with the pliers, pull it through. I mean, I got little hands and little fingers. I don't know why this is such a pain in the butt for me, but it is. Go ahead and force this in. the bar with the with the pliers flip it over make sure a little attachment tab is out the top I really like initially like I really like how clean that is right how it literally rides right along the top of that that webbing that strap and the molly I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing on because I think it'll be easier to pack and kind of manipulate while I'm standing there as if I was wearing it or as if I was hunting so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on I'll get right back with you all right, so I think as far as like the hero clip and a couple of S-beaners, I think I'm just going to go ahead and keep them in the top pocket. That way I just keep them nice and organized. I'm going to throw all my carabiners, whether they be attachment or climbing. I'm going to use them all right up here in this pocket. Here's the extra climbing rated carabiner that I carry. Go ahead and slide it down in the pocket. Here's the little, the little bungees I was telling you about. I'm going to go ahead and store those down in here, down in that bottom pocket. Because those are just things I very, very rarely ever use. So, sorry that was out of frame. I slid the bungees in the bottom pocket. Uh, knife is also going to go in the bottom pocket. So, here is my tether rope. So, I'm going to go ahead and just take it. Take the tether, just kind of wad it up like this. Take the tail end, go around it a couple times, and then it keeps it this nice little bundle. I'm gonna go ahead and put that right there, and then attach the little bar, or the little uh, G-hook. Cinch that G-hook down. So now that's right there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reattach this to my lineman belt, right? So I gotta put my, my girth hitch back on because it just lives right here on my left lineman belt. I never take it off. That's the very first time I've ever taken it off since I bought my saddle. All right, so then what I kind of like to do just to keep it organized, I like to take the carabiner, come back and clip it on my lineman belt, just like this. And then you got just this tail end to kind of work with. So just kind of fold it down a little bit. I knotted my rope. Take your tail end, bring it down a bit. <clears throat> and then take, wrap it around. And then I'm just going to take it and just tuck it right in here.
and then there's the roll pouch set and ready to go. All right, so when I get to the tree, all I have to do is loosen this, pop this off, my lineman belt comes out, go around the tree with it. <clears throat> All right, do your ascend. Once you get to the top, you go ahead and you need your tether. You go ahead and loosen this one. Out comes your tether. Go ahead and tether in. Once you're done with your lineman belt, right, go ahead and loosen it off. Take your take your pressure off the lineman belt and put it on the tether. So from here, you kind of just wad this back up for now, and then just place it there for the duration of your hunt. Until you're going to come back down. It just keeps everything nice and nice and compact. I've just noticed that trying to stick the ropes down in that ES 2.0 can kind of be a pain in the butt sometimes. Um, I kind of wish I would have got like the, um, the Sis Hauler OG. Right, the real big pouch. I kind of wish I would have got that one for my left side initially instead of the two ES 2.0s, because it, with the internal pockets inside of that inside of that sis hauler, it just kind of it's just a pain in the butt sometimes to stick them down in there. Um, I also had my pouch was one one Molly loop back, so I kept finding myself digging in right here. All right, so over here I moved it forward one uh, one notch, so now to make this more accessible and not as far back on my back. I had also, right, I took this Doyle's gear hoist and I just kind of, I didn't really necessarily poke a hole, but I kind of spread the, the mesh and I stuck the Doyle's gear hoist down in the bottom of this, um, of this sis hauler. So now my Doyle's comes out through the bottom of the sis hauler instead of off my back. I had issues where um, it would cause me to put my platform lower, which let it hang, and then my sticks would come around and smack it and make a bunch of noise. So now I don't have to worry about my platform hitting the, uh, the plastic housing of the Doyles. So I went ahead and moved it there. I can move my platform up higher and that'll uh, kind of uh, reduce that noise, um, hopefully, right? And then my sticks will be able to kind of just swing freely. I mean, so far I, I really like it. Um, I don't know, I'll probably, I do, I change things all the time, right? I'm always constantly messing with my gear, messing with my system, so I mean, here within two days it may be completely different. I just kind of wanted to give you a first look at how I'm going to set my uh, my roll pouch up for this upcoming season. Um, like I said, I don't one stick, but um, I'm kind of just waiting on all the hype to, to kind of die off, right? I don't want to have to search down a Mad Rock. I'm not paying $200 for a Mad Rock off of eBay, right? So I'll kind of just let all this stuff kind of calm down, let the ropes that you want get back into stock, right? Everybody's freaking out. It's a week before deer season, right? So. I'm just going to let all that hype die off and then I'll go ahead and I'll get set up for my one stick system and we'll definitely be doing that by next season. Um, make sure you always like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss a video. I really appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.